Imperial Bulls. This is another area that creates a lot of confusion. We've got, we've got several issues here in Brisbane. First of all, we don't have a lot of players that are strong enough to toss the ball 50, 60 metres or so. And another point that I continually make about women's hockey is that for some reason, when we, use, when we do use the aerial balls, and there are some people that, are, you know, you watch Angie Skirving, Angie Lambert, she can toss the ball 50, 60 metres. So we do have players that can do it. But as compared to the men, we nearly always send it player to player. The men will toss it into space so that their attackers are leading onto the ball. But we don't know why, but we, we tend to send it player to player all the time, which 90, 99 times out of 100 means that that defender is going to get the free hit. So I think this is something that, you know, Coaches have to do a bit of work on. I think a lot of, also I think a lot of players choose the wrong time to use it, the wrong option. But the main fault is that they send it player to player rather than player to space. So when they send it player to player, is it, is it for you, would you adjudicate it on the first person in the line of the path of receiving the ball, whether it be the attack or be the defender? It will, if, if that attacker, right, if you're the defender, you're, you're, you've got the ball, yep. right? Dino's on your team, I'm the defender. If you put it up towards us, even if Dino advances into space and picks it up, I'm still close enough, right, to be in her vicinity, and I'd get the free hit, even though she stepped in and took it before me. If there's any kind of closeness, it's always going to the defender. That's why I say 99 times out of 100, it'll go to the defender. Bouncing, it's, it's, that doesn't matter. It's still classified as an aerial ball. So the, the high toss that is bouncing towards players, right. it's treated exactly the same as if the ball's on the full. And how low until it's classified not dangerous anymore? Well, if it's down, well, I mean, if to, get, to get down that high, it'll have to bounce a fair number of times, Maybe wouldn't it? Maybe two times? Well, well, trapping it. I'm talking now, the first bounce, the first bounce would lift it high yeah. enough to be dangerous, yeah. all right? But if it's going, I wouldn't classify that as an aerial ball, so it'll be treated differently. Think about when the ball is coming down, the receiver has to be given five. And in a crowded situation or a contested situation, and that's a contested situation, even if this player gets in front of me, it's still a contested situation, and I'll get the free hit. What a lot of players are getting, a lot of teams are getting really good at now, both here and at the higher levels, they understand the rule, and you'll see them watching, and they'll literally back off. They'll quickly back off the five, because as soon as it's controlled, they can then come in and steal the ball. And I see it happening. But it, this needs a bit of nous from the, from the players, as well as the umpires, right? Back off. Back off. And then go in. I see that happening on a regular basis now because players are getting a better understanding of it. Would you agree? Yeah. Yeah, Shannon? Yeah. yeah. Al? Annette? Players are getting a better understanding of it. There was a time when I